I am so well shocked, positively shocked, so so happy because we could contribute to a better future for our children. Hard to believe their win after nearly a decade of legal battle to prove that a healthy climate is a fundamental human right. We can be very proud, she says, that our country should do what it hasn't done, protect our health and future. The Swiss women, most in their 70s, fought to persuade the European Human Rights Court they are vulnerable to the effects of climate change. In a 2022 heat wave in Switzerland, a majority of the casualties were older women. Extreme heat is killing people, they argued, while the country's government refused to act urgently enough to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The court agreed. The failure to quantify, through a carbon budget or otherwise, national greenhouse gas emissions limitations. Its ruling forces the Swiss government to strengthen its climate laws and sends a strong signal to other countries. We can't overstate the significance of this decision. Environmental lawyers say this victory creates a precedent that will be persuasive in a rising tide of other legal challenges, including in Canada. This ruling makes it no longer feasible or possible to contend that climate change is not a human rights crisis, that the impacts of climate change don't give rise to human rights claims. Another climate case brought by Portuguese youth before the same court and supported by Greta Thunberg was dismissed. But still, applause. I really think their win is a win for us, too, and a win for everyone. Susan, it's so interesting that this case began nine years ago. What took so long? Well, they say they weren't taken seriously. They bounced from court to court. Even the ruling today said they were denied legal access. And you know, since this case began, the very thing they're fighting against, which is rising greenhouse gas emissions, well, they've just gone up and up. And we've just verified that March last month was the 10th consecutive month of record-breaking heat. So those temperatures aren't going down. Not at all. All right, Susan Omerson, thanks for coming in. You're welcome.